Hey guys, the Brittenhams here. We're here to talk about Halloween. One of our favorite holidays. The costumes, mm -hmm. getting outside, seeing your neighbors. Trick or treating. Trick or treating, we, we love it. So before I got married, I, I enjoyed Halloween. I dressed up, but after I met Liv and got married, uh, we took it up a notch. Mm -hmm. What's some of our best costumes the past few years? Um, we've had baby Moses and Pharaoh, because yes. Maccabee's middle name is Moses. We've had our sushi costume, Sushi Go, because Maccabee, we were calling Maki, so he was Maki Roll. Our first year before we had children, um, I was a tree, mm -hmm. and, and you I were your koala. a koala bear. It maybe wasn't our greatest costume. It was very last minute into we your were character. dedicated. I was a tree. We did a little family easy trick-or-treating Catwoman, Batman, Robin, Robin costume, which you did really a lot in the spandex. I was Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I wore the tights. Um, and yeah, that costume really turned out it great. Was good. Basically, it's gotten to the point that every year we have about three different costumes that <laughs> yeah. we plan for. So it's a great creative outlet, uh, but we're really just excited to get out there to go trick-or-treating around our neighborhood. It's a great opportunity to get to know our neighbors. It's just fun. It's sweet to see everyone dressed up and having fun and all the neighbors sitting in their driveways. It's opened up some doors for a relationship. We're also excited to see how Maccabee does trick-or-treating. Uh, last year, he we gave him one lollipop wow, or Maccabee. sucker and uh, just so clung to that on him. That was it. That's all he needed. Well, he was one. You're up past your bedtime. And you are really drooly. Is that your first lollipop? So this year, this year. 2022, uh, we are doing a group costume, the Life Aquatic of Steve Zizou. Pretty obscure reference, but if you're a Wes Anderson fan, you know what we're talking about. So we had other Wes Anderson ideas. But the Steve Zizu one is the one that involves a pregnant lady. So that's what we went with. And then Pokemon, for obvious reasons, I wanted to be a Pokeball. Yeah. Really emphasize. The pregnancy came first, the ball. Then, the, <laughs> then the ball idea. We weren't like, <laughs> let's be a Pokeball and then you happen to be pregnant. No. So, uh, yeah, so that's happening. Um, I think we just told. The world. I have 44 subscribers. They're all going to find out. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, we're expecting. So here's your basket. Given it had been a year since he had last trick or treated and he could hardly walk last year, I thought it might be a good idea to go through a little practice run. Knock on the door. Can you knock? Let's wait now for them to open. Okay, now what do you say? Trick or treat! Trick or treat! And then, here, bring up your basket. They're gonna give you something. Oh, some Leo answered the door. Are you gonna give us candy, Leo? Thankfully, our cat Leo was willing to stand in as one of our neighbors. Oh, I missed. What is it? What did they give you? Cookie tea. Fruit snack. Yeah. And then we're gonna go to the next house. Yeah. Good job. Thank you, Leo. He passed this practice run with flying colors. That was a good practice run. I think you're ready. So we have a lot of fun piecing together our Halloween costumes. Uh, October's a big month for Goodwill. I think we've gone about a dozen times this month. For Vance, the the overzealous background dancer from What's Up With That, uh, he wears a red tracksuit. So I found a red tracksuit jacket at Goodwill for uh, $8. Thought it was a good find. Then I was looking for red track pants. Uh, I was looking everywhere. All of the thrift stores couldn't find any that fit me. I ended up having to go to Macy's um, got the actual name brand Adidas track pants. Um, so these were $37, $38. So still have the tag on in case 
I need to return them. I don't suggest buying new clothes for a Halloween costume. The character always wears a, a big chain, so I found this also at Goodwill for five or six dollars. And then he wears uh, Adidas shoes, so I already own a pair of white Adidas shoes. Dance lessons, uh, free. Uh, a lot of watching through the YouTube videos and trying to replicate uh, the awesome dance moves. Hey, Team Zizu. Team Zizu. <laughs> Good job. Say cheese. Oh, I get it. I love you. What? Bear hug. When people see my athletic build, they often don't realize that I've written not one, not two, but three hit plays. It was the day before Halloween. And a normal day by anyone's standards. Five friends meet together at a pumpkin patch. They have been friends since high school. They have been friends since high school. They have been friends since high school. Every year since Maccabee has been born, we host Maccabee's annual Monster Mash. As part of the event, I have my friends act out a play that I have written. Can we just eat already? I'm starving! This year, I capped off the trilogy and presented Marine Layer 3. Gordo trips on the weed and sprains his ankle. The play usually consists of a ragtag group of friends, with Maccabee saving the world. We live together and we die alone. If we find Maccabee, if we somehow enlist his help, how can you guarantee you can return us back to our world? You're an egocentric maniac. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> I just have to visit the water closet, you know, take it down. What the heck is going on here, Bert? What shouldn't be happening for crying out loud? <laughs> if you're interested in reading the script, just send me an email. It says October 31st, 2070. I included some lines from The Dark Knight but nobody seemed to notice. You have nothing, nothing to threaten me with. Who are you? Nothing to do with your strength. One, two, three. Happy Halloween! Yesterday, last night, you went trick-or-treating. Yeah. Can you tell us uh, how did it go? Did you have fun? Yeah. And so what did you do? Did you, you went up to each door and what did you say? Trick-or-treat. And then they gave you candy? Yeah. What do you have? This. And then after they gave you the candy, what would you say? That. Remember, what would you say to the people who gave you candy? Remember? Yeah. What'd you say? Tototi. No, you would say thank you. 
you. There was one incident. Uh, actually, this was the first house we went to. There was a spider. A head eye on. So this spider, when you walked past it, what did it do? Jumped up. It jumped out, and it scared you. Yeah. Just frightened you. Just startled you. It jumped up. It jumped up at you. It just jumped up, right? So how did that make you feel, that spider? Hot. It made you sad. You were able to still trick or treat and I think you overcame it. You were able to. Him, fire, him, I, all. Yeah, and then for the rest of the night, Maccabee told every house about that spider, how it jumped up and the lights were on. No, that one come up. No fire, I, on. No more spiders jumped out, just the, that one spider. Mm. No, too bad. Okay. Do you want me to open this for you? Yeah. Okay. In. Happy homing. Bye. Bye. Mwah. I don't know why I did that. I think because you did one.